Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to Justin's house. In this video, we're continuing our exploration of Platform Analytics Workspace and ServiceNow's Tokyo release. This is new functionality, new capability around building your own reports and dashboards within the next experience. So in this video, I'm going to pick up where I left off. We talked about last time asking questions about data. Now, what I want to take you on is a journey through creating a dashboard. So I made a little wireframe of the dashboard I want to create. If you've been watching my channel, I've got a little app that I made to keep track of all the different ServiceNow Tokyo features. And I, today I want to show you how to create some data visualizations. So mine's going to be super, super simple, really easy. I want to list or I, I want to count of all the sitemap parts for my app. I want to count of all the release note pages. I want to count of all the features, and I want to count of all the features that I still need to review. So let's not waste any time. Let's get started and let's make some data visualizations. We are going to start on the Analytics Center uh, Platform Analytics Workspace in the Data Visualizations tab. The idea being, once we create some data visualizations, then we are going to add those visualizations to a dashboard, right? That makes sense. Let's start with, now you can create these from the dashboard, but I'm going to do them here. And we'll start with that first one, which was the sitemap parts. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to create a score. So you see here, I've got a single score. This is going to be the easy one. And I'll go ahead and add that. And we're going to configure that, right? So let me move my head out of the way here. I'm going to add a data source. If you're familiar, I'm not going to define it manually. If you're familiar with the UI builder, this is getting your feet wet on adding data sources to your workspace experiences. I know I want sitemap parts if they're in suggestions because I made sure this worked before I recorded the video, but in theory, you would come in here and search for sitemap, which is part of my application, and I want a list of all the sitemap parts and that I can click on and go look at really easily. So there's my sitemap parts. I don't want to add a filter to this one. We're going to do a filter here later on another one. So let's go ahead and add that source, and that should give me a count. I should have about 31. Yeah, there's 31. So let's do something else. Let's add a header and a footer to this particular KPI or this particular data visualization. So we'll call this sitemap parts. Pretty self-explanatory there. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on this header separator, the header separator being a nice little line that delineates the chart title or the visualization title from the actual data. So that, that's it, that's all I wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and save that and we'll give this a name, same as the type uh, or title on the chart, sitemap parts. And what I'm gonna do for the rest of them, right? So I need release note pages feature and features needing review. I'm just going to duplicate this one. So look, we've got this nice feature up here to duplicate an existing data visualization that we already have. And I'll go ahead and duplicate it. We'll give it a new name. This new name should be release note pages. So I'll just type that in here. And I'm going to fast forward the rest of this so you can see me creating my data visualizations um, a little bit faster than me talking through them. So here we go. All right, everybody, you saw that all sped up. So now I have four data visualizations, features needing review, all the features. So that's a, this one is a subset of this one. There are release note pages, 191, and sitemap parts, 31. So I've created all the data visualizations I need. I can click on these, like you saw me do in a previous video. It'll take me to those particular records. This is a custom app. This is not an out-of-the-box app, and you'll see that it's going to open a list of records in the workspace. So I got everything I need in order to access that. If you haven't already, go check out my other videos detailing about this app. In my next video, I'm going to show about creating some other visualizations, not just these scores. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in reporting and dashboarding within the next experience within ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.